seasoning directly from Louisiana you know I gotta represent but that is very good on anything I'm also going to use some Everglades seasoning it's another all-purpose complete seasoning and then we have the McCormick black peppercorn and we're gonna grind it up it's more fun that way so now I have pre-seasoned the chicken with everything that I showed you before all the different spices. Now, you don't have to use exactly what I use, but if you want to right, use what I told you to use, okay? So, the next step is for us to drizzle real lime juice directly onto the chicken. So, I'm just gonna squeeze it, not too much. And I'm gonna do it on this one side for now. And then, we're going to glaze the chicken. So I've already got the pan warming up just to get nice and hot. And what I'm doing is putting this directly on top. So I found out about this chicken from another incredible artist. Shots out to Kim Brown, K. Renee. I had an opportunity to sing with her and I learned a lot of things from her about singing, entertaining. Um, I mean, she just had all of her own everything. And she's also an amazing cook. So I found out about this secret little recipe as far as the sofrito itself from her. Then I decided to just add my own stuff and just do my own thing. And this is what I came up with. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and repeat. Now I know it's kind of drenched, but it needs to be that way. I'm going to wash my hands and repeat on this side. Alrighty, so at this point, the pan is nice and warm, ready to go. And I'm going to put a tad bit of low fat margarine. So back in the day, I used to think I had to use real butter for everything. But you know, <clears throat> mainly for baking. Like when I make a pound cake for y'all, I'm going to use real butter. But for this, you can use some margarine or olive oil. So I'm gonna let this get all the way melted down so this can be coated really nice because what we're gonna do next is a secret little step before we put this chicken in the oven. So it's almost there, it's almost ready. Voila. All right, 
So, now I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to brown it. on both sides. It adds a certain texture. And I'm only gonna put two in here so that I'm not overcrowding it. And I'm gonna let that go on each side for about 90 seconds or so. And it's going to brown it and it's gonna give it a nice texture. And so here we are making sofrito lime chicken. Who would have ever thought I would be having a cooking show? Just something to think about. Something in my imagination. And it was just my imagination. So we got bell peppers, three different kinds as you can see. They just look pretty. That's all I know. I just use them because they look pretty. Dry color. And then onions of course. So I'm just going to saute that very briefly, not too much. Just want to cook it down just a little bit because it's going to continue in the oven. So this is what we got going on right here. Some fresh diced onions and bell peppers and if you want to you can also add tomatoes and maybe a little I don't want to put too much on y'all at one time but tomatoes will work but since we use the paste it's totally fine that we not oh snap see how I got caught up I gotta take this chicken out because we're not cooking it completely we're moving it here so don't mind me because I just got a little caught up. Uh, caught up in the rapture of love. Nothing else can compare. When I feel that magic for you. Your feelings always do. I stole that from my friend, Shawnee Rocks. She add a little twist to everything. So that's what we be doing. All right, so I'm gonna just move this right here so you guys can see what it, look, what it looks like. Get 
close, not too personal. Don't take it personal. The camera lady got excited. She about to drop the phone in the chat. Baby, 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 don't take it personal. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle the onions and bell peppers right on top. And I'm gonna move this. Cause it's gonna keep cooking. It's on top. All right. So yeah. So again, I do a lot of little different things because it adds different texture. No one really taught me how to cook. I taught myself. So I just started figuring stuff out as I go. Now I'll call my mama in a minute. Facetime her, mom, please. How you make the roux? I need gravy. But stuff like this, I just figured it out. And you're going to love it when you try it yourself. So I'm gonna cover this in aluminum foil and we're gonna put the oven on 375 for about 45 minutes. And that's it. You don't have to leave it uncovered because we've already browned it when we pan seared it. So we'll come back to that. So, we got to have a little fun. It's just the must. That's just who I am. It's what we do. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So, there's this little game that I am the reigning chip at playing because I am just never defeated. So, my musical friends call me the human jukebox. And this is why. So, how the game goes is... The commentator is going to call out a word, any word that has to do with whatever. And I have to respond in song to the word. Whatever is the first thing that comes to mind. And I need to be able to sing it and everybody knows what it is. On my next episode, I'm going to have some competition. But I'm going to show you guys how it goes. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Your first word is fall. Come on, Rain and Chill. I got one instantly. Feels like I'm You got me going in circles. Oh, round and round I go. <sighs> now you're just showing off. Okay, okay. Next word here. Let me let me try to let me try to throw you a curveball. Okay. Next word is. Sit. Sitting up in my room, back and thinking about you. I must confess, I'm a mess for you. Okay, okay. What about the word back? I'm running back, I'm running back to you. I'm running back, I'm running back to you. I'm running back, I'm running back, cause I need your love. Final word, final word, front. Ain't no need to front like we're not in love. We're too grown for that, let's just be real enough. You want your cake, you wanna eat it too. I ain't even mad, man, go do you. Ain't no need to fun. That's all me. That's me. I'm the artist. <laughs> yeah! That was fun. <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to be 
be making some fresh green beans, not from the can, but some fresh snap green beans. My most favorite thing to do is to add onions. All you need is onions, a little bit of seasoning. A little bit of seasoning and you straight. I'm gonna put some of this Creole seasoning right in there before I even put the green beans. I want to season it as much as I can before so that when we toss everything together it just makes it that much easier. <clears throat> I always like to start with the meat first so that way usually by the time it's done or almost done your sides will be ready to go <clears throat> so we're almost there we're almost there almost there Looks amazing and it smells amazing. You want to smell it, huh? 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 <laughs> this is how it should look. It's a little dark because the seasoning has given it some color. So that's what's going on. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning salt, and I did add some Everglades seasoning as well. And the last thing I'm going to put here is some onion powder. Alright, so before it burns, we can go ahead and start adding our green peas. These are already snapped. And rinsed. They're ready to go. So I'm going to add that right in. Just like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and basically steam these. So I'm going to add some water directly into the pot. Man. So I'm, I'm steaming this on an open surface. So I'm steaming it, <clears throat> but we're going to cook it relatively fast. So all I'm doing now is mixing the onions in real good. And once this cooks down more, it's going to be just fine. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. And some garlic salt. Just a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your groove thing. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a... Okay, I'm getting carried away now. Say salt. If you have powder use powder. I kind of ran out. So that's all right. Side right, oh. Now on a good day, I would have put some bacon in this as well. But we're trying to go a little healthier if we can. But if you want to add bacon, add a little bacon. 
and we'll come back to that in just a few moments maybe about 10 minutes or so we'll check back on this Alright guys, here we have risotto, which is long grain rice with a few different cheeses already mixed into the mix. So we're going to have that to accommodate this meal today. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the unveiling of the sofrito fine chicken. If it ain't steaming, it ain't beaming. Oh god. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I feel like emerald. Okay. I mean, I can look at the chicken and see it coming off of the bone from here. That's what you want. Very tender. Very succulent. Okay, so listen, today is May the 24th. Today is Sunday. I just had to make a little quick little video to tell y'all about how the sink broke. So here's what happened. I have the most amazing manager. She goes to no ends for me, okay? So she ordered this amazing backdrop and tried to put it up on the counter. I mean, she stood up on the counter so that she can put it up when she got done. <laughs> she stepped into the... She stepped into the sink. And the whole thing collapsed. And I wanted to cancel, but she said, nope. We still gonna record. The show must go on. And boy, we had a time. Okay? So that's what happened. What the...